Hello there and welcome to Crafting Unedited. I am Sierra and today we're going to sublimate some socks. So I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. I've done HTV on socks, but I haven't done the uh, sublimation on socks. So today I actually have an event coming up in like two days that I need some socks for. Christmas sock exchange. So instead of going to buy some that everyone else is going to have, I'm going to make my own. Pretty excited to do it. So a couple of things that we have here. I'm going to do a couple of different kinds of types of socks. Um, so first we have these no-show socks. These are from Heat Transfer Warehouse. You can get them. They're Silly Sock brand. Um, but basically you're just going to put your design on top with the board inside and sublimate. The other ones I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get something inside of them so that it doesn't transfer into the other side of the sock, but nonetheless, we'll figure it out and conquer it. So we've got heat transfer warehouse, no show socks, and then we have Dollar General, five pack of Zone Pro men's socks, but you can see here they will sublimate because they are 95% polyester. 5% spandex. The only concern that I have with these is that they have the ridges here. So when they go over your foot, they might separate the image. So I still got to figure that part out too. Worst case, they fail. They were five bucks for the three pack, so not too terrible. Next up, we have some women's Dollar Tree socks. Came in a three pack for just a buck. Not too shabby, but they are tiny. That does not look like a women's sock, but I feel like once you put it on stretched out, it'll be fine. But there you have it, women's Dollar Tree socks. And those are the three brands and styles that we will be pressing. We have your no-show, we have your tall socks, and we have your ankle socks, is that's what we're gonna call it. So, all right, and then, so next you're gonna need some had it over here. What did I do? Oh no, I didn't. Sublimation tape, thermal tape, heat resistant tape, whatever you want to call it. You're going to need some of that. And you're going to need some blowout paper, parchment paper, butcher paper, whatever you want to call it. It's all there. All right. And because this heat press is warm, I'm hot. So the hair's got to go up. Alrighty. Here we go. So heat press is set at three 85 for 60 seconds, light to medium pressure. So first thing you're going to want to do, I already did it to this pair because it was folded in half this way. You want to fold it this way, flat, with the heel out, and then um, press it so that you get a nice flat surface to sublimate onto. These have a little wrinkling on the back, but it, it should still be fine. These I don't have to do anything with because they already come ready to press. Go heat transfer warehouse for that. These guys, obviously you want to remove packaging. Totally missed that trash can. As long as I miss my finger when I cut, that's all that matters. Come on. It doesn't want to come out of the sock. I hate these things. Can't you just tape them together? <laughs> oh, and the, there we go. There's one. Made that. There we go. Got a pair of socks out. Same thing we're gonna do. Oh, nope, look, they came like that already. Go Dollar General. So they're already flattened to a point where I don't have to do anything with them. Whoop, whoop. Now these, I am going to do an all over print, I think. No, that's gonna be the no-show socks. <laughs> these are just gonna have, where did it go? They're over here too had everything put together and then I didn't have everything put together. I am a loser today and I think this is too bright. That's why it keeps going in and out with my face. So these are gonna have 
naughty, a little naughty, and a little nice on the side. Do I want to put it on the side or do I want to put it on the front? Design, design, design. So I think for these, I'm going to put it on the side. So I need to repress these guys this way because I'm going to do one on the outside. Nope. I'm going with the front just because so thinking when you wear socks you're not going to think when you put them on which side to put them on. So you don't need a lefty and a righty. If you just put them on the front, you don't have to worry about that. So that's what we're going with. We're going to put them on the front. And I believe that I cut these to fit almost perfectly. Yep. Wonderful. And then now i got to figure out something to slide into these bad boys so that it doesn't transfer through the sock and onto the other side of the sock. Ooh. Construction paper. I got this. Be right back. Alrighty, and I'm back. So what I did was I took a piece of regular cardstock, I cut it into four, and then I curved the bottom. I tried it without curving the bottom. And it was annoying, but curving the bottom crease stops it from catching onto the sock. Let me just slide it right on in here. And look at that. Got a nice little insert to prevent your image from transferring over to the rest of the sock. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then you could even like use these as to leave there. I wouldn't though. All right, so next we take our tape. We put our images onto our socks. Um, I'm gonna move the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Alrighty, one of the biggest comments that I have received is that you guys can't see my work. So here we are. You can see my work. You can't see my face, but you can see my work and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my images onto my socks and create like a little space here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing without all this crap in the way. So, oh no, poor baby Yoda. All right. So this one, I cut a regular size image in half. This was a fluky image. I messed it up a while ago and I've been trying to figure out what the hell I can use it on. I mean, heck, I'm sorry. So sorry. Um, so we're going to give it a try on these socks and see how it goes. So for this one, I want them to be like, so that when you put them together, your feet kind of finish the image. This is going to be kind of tricky. I don't know how well this is going to work because of the size. If I would have originally made this image for the sock specifically, I would have measured and made it just a wee bit smaller. But I didn't, so here we are. Ready? Top is taped. bottom taped down here oh my fucking god I hate tape here we go and the same thing with this guy as close to the edge as possible trying to make sure that I don't get it on the toe seam right here because that's going to create like a little bit of a lip and cause it to not press evenly and with sublimation you don't have to have a hard pressure you just have to have an even pressure and temperature all right there is one pair <clears throat> these are the ones that I'm kind of concerned with because of the ridges 
So I'm kind of glad that I put the thing in there because it kind of stretched out just a little bit. Naughty. Nice. Let's see if I could trim these down any more than they already are. I mean, not too much. Oops. No. My bad. I cut off part of the wing, but it'll be okay. Just want to make sure that it fits right on there. Wonderful. This guy's got lots that I could cut off, actually. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it so that I could clearly see where my the edges of my designs are. There we go. Wonderful. Make sure they're not upside down because I've done that recently. Trying to rush through. Again, making sure you avoid the lip. Bring that down just a smidge. I really hope these turn out because they'd be pretty cute. Same with my little gingerbread guys over there. Kind of really like those. Do, do, do. Come on. This tape being a pain in my butt this morning. Again, just trying to get it as centered as possible. There we go. Another pair. And then the final pair. I don't really need to tape down too much because I'm literally just going to put it right on top and cover the entire thing. So this one's going to be a bit different. Um, I'll show you when we get there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of, piece of butcher paper underneath and a piece on top. But I'm going to make sure that I cover the entire layout of my socks um, with both. So of the press, sorry, of the press plate. So we'll do those first. Um, go ahead and move on over to my heat press here. I'm going to move you just a little bit. Here we go. So... I'm going to go ahead and move that so I don't melt it. Pull out my press plate. Make sure you guys can see that. So I'm going to make sure that my entire bottom is covered. And then I'm going to lay the socks down face up like this. And then fingers crossed and hope for the best. Actually, I'm going to turn them this way. I'm going to cut off the bottom portion here. There we go. That's better. I feel like maybe... I want to do these, do I want to do them one at a time or both together, together, together is best, I think, maybe, we shall find out now, won't we, so then, just trying to get it straight so that my people are straight, and they were upside down, okay, there we go. I'm going to take the other blowout paper, put it right on top there. 
definitely not straight. Making sure that both pairs of socks are in there. Now for this one, I'm gonna do a little bit more pressure because there is some lipping. So I'm worried that it's not going to press evenly. So I'm gonna add more pressure to it. But here we go. 60 seconds, turn the knob down just a little bit and let's see how this goes. <laughs> so it's at 385 again for 60 seconds. Um, I was gonna do front and back to my socks, but I don't know. I kind of like the idea of just the tops. But that's all you're going to see anyway. Nobody's going to see the bottom of your feet. So, then these guys, I'm just going to press the tops. I'm not going to worry about pressing the bottom half. Um, there's really no point because I'm not, there's nothing on it. So, why? <laughs> and then these, you know, obviously I'm going to press the whole image. Um, or the whole sock, not obviously the whole image, but the whole sock, not just the top part or the bottom part. Also, sublimation tip. If you're using rolls of parchment paper and whatnot, just take a ton. Like I have this pile over here of sublimation, or not, of um, parchment paper. The reason why I did that was because one day I found myself needing more parchment paper than I had, and it ended up being a mess. I ruined my project because I didn't have enough writing. Alrighty, moment of truth here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this and this. Oh my goodness, they are so freaking adorable. So, I did have a little bit of shadowing or ghosting around right here. You can see it more so here in her body. But she just looks a little underbaked. I absolutely freaking love these. I might have to gift them to myself. <laughs> these are so stinking cute. But perfect reason or perfect example as to why you should use the sublimate or the butcher paper underneath. Because all of that print transferred onto here rather than my press plate. All right? So these are a winner. Absolutely love them. So excited. Next up, we have Naughty and Nice. Alrighty. And, hmm. I was thinking maybe I would press it with the lip off of the thing, but then I would have a lip down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Because, oops. If I press with this lip off, this one's down here far enough that it's not really going to make a difference. It'll be fine. Nah. That's too risky. It should be okay. Enough pressure and it'll be fine. All right. Clean. Put your sheet. And here we go. Round number two. I could actually do, I'm gonna use my time wisely here, guys. One here, maybe. I might screw it all up because these have different heights. This pair definitely needs to be, <clears> hmm. <throat> had an idea mid project for these socks I wrapped it around because when I was putting it on here I was having issues getting it to flatten enough so all I did was just cut the top beautiful 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 here we go and then these, I'm putting the back, the back, the heel part of the sock off. This may screw me in the end, but I'm hoping that it doesn't affect the pressure of 
my transfer. Sorry, I was trying to do and talk at the same time. Alrighty. Fingers crossed. Turns out right. Making sure that it's all flat. There's no wrinkles. Here we go. Wishing for the best here. I know this is not how you should do things, but as a crafter, that's just how we roll sometimes. My platinum is crooked for some reason. Sorry. I don't trust that it's going to go over far enough for some reason. I'm having trust issues today. <laughs> there we go. That's better, I feel like, yeah. Alrighty, <clears throat> here we go. And now is where I tell you that you should <laughs> like and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> And make sure you drop any comments or anything that you may have. Um, any advice on pressing socks, sublimating on them. Um, any specific socks that you like. Personally, right now, I am loving these. These are my favorites. Um, I do do a workout that involves boots that look like um, rollerblades. So I like the taller socks for that. And I like the fun socks for that, which is why I went with the athletic ones. Um, to kind of give myself a little more fun socks so I might be putting this design on another pair of socks but on a tall pair if this pair works out anyway so like subscribe comment let me know what you're thinking all right we got 13 seconds and kneeling like that made me dizzy eight seven six five four three two one Alrighty. Moment of truth here, guys. Moment of truth. Oops. There's a wall there. Oh my Lanta, look how freaking adorable. <laughs> oh, I love these. See, though with the red you can kind of see the ridges. The tape did not want to come off of that one. And these did not have any seam issues. Goodness, I'm so excited for these. It's unreal. I'm going to go on my plate a little bit more. Okay. Ah! You have no idea how excited I am that these worked so well. Dollar Tree socks, guys. One dollar. Look at this. Look how freaking cute those turned out. Look at it. Perfect. And then these, the same thing. My pressure was spot on. I did medium pressure. If it had a number, I would show you or tell you. The only concern that I have is right here in between the wording or in the letters. You can kind of see where the ridges separated a little bit, but... Oh, yeah, and then when you put them on, that's going to happen. Dang. But they're still really cute. Still super cute. And when you give them away, that's what they're going to look like. But then when they put them on, <laughs> unless they have super skinny shins. I don't know. It might work out. We'll see. That's it, though. That's, that's the three pairs of socks, guys. Three different ways of doing it. But I feel like even if you were to do it without ridges, it would be the same situation like these. When you put these on, they're going to stretch out like that, right? So unless you're the exact same width of the sock, you're going to have some, like, stretchiness. But hey, I'm happy with how the images turned out on the socks. Maybe not so much without the thing. All right, let's put you back up at me. Maybe... My height, hi. Welcome back. <laughs> Alrighty, so guys, that's really all I have. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial, and since it was my first time doing these socks, you know me, I like to learn with you. So, a couple of tips and pointers. Medium to more pressure with these, primarily because you do have kind of lips and ridges from where the seams are. Um, it's kind of the same concept if you're doing like all over print shirts and whatnot. 
more pressure is gonna do you better on these primarily because of those seams and ridges. Um, make sure that you tape your images down unless you're doing an all over print like these. Um, I am noticing that the paper did kind of cause it to scorch a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some peroxide, spray it on there. And then I'm just going to slide them under my press like that. Um, and that should take away the scorching marks. There's another hint for you. If you get like that brownish color um, on your products for sublimation, um, basically just take some hydrogen peroxide. Again, Dollar Tree for the win. It's just a little spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide and it is by far the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I don't do many of those smart things, but that's okay. Anyways, so there we have it. Sublimation socks, three different types, three different places. Um, all 100% or 95% polyester and all very easily accessible to you. All you gotta do for the gingerbread socks is go over to Heat Transfer Warehouse, grab you a pair of the silly socks. I do believe they have the taller ones as well. These were just sent to me from them. So thank you very much, Heat Transfer Warehouse, for sending those to me so that I can make this video happen for you. <laughs> I love learning with you guys and I have so much fun teaching you. So make sure you like, subscribe, all that good fun stuff to my channel. I love you guys very much. And if you don't love me back, that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.